Hi, and welcome to this short video showing the Part 13 assessment in the INSPECT program. My name is Matt Hyland, and today I'm going to take you through how you can quickly model and go through an assessment for laminations. So in front of you is our sample model that I'm going to be using, and you'll see I've got multiple flaw types set up on this, everything from uh, hick damage to blisters to metal loss to pitting. Right here, I'm going to zoom in here. You'll see this black box with this line. This is going to be our lamination, and this is going to be the lamination that we're going to be looking at um, for this video. Now, if you're new to the 579 world or you're just trying to get a little bit more information, let's just start with what is a lamination? You know, it's always good to refresh there. A lamination is really a plane of non-fusion on the inside of the steel and it's a result from it manufacturing processes when they made the steel. So it's more common uh, in older vessels because as you know we've improved our steel making processes laminations aren't as prominent as they were um, some time ago. So today let's go through how we actually step through doing a lamination assessment. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously we're going to model the equipment or just a simple component. Again, if you just want to look at a lamination on the cylinder, you can just model the cylinder as well. But we're going to go up here to the API 579 menu and you'd select part 13 laminations at the bottom of the list. Now I've already gone ahead and modeled this, so I'm just going to click out of this. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to right click on this lamination. I'm going to select lamination. Now this is the input box that'll show up. Now part 13 and part seven are very, very common. So if you've reviewed the part seven video or this is the first time you're watching it, this will be very similar to the part seven. And even from the assessment side, it's a very similar assessment to a hydrogen juice crack assessment or blister assessment. But what you'll do is you can identify, so if you've got multiple laminations, you can uh, identify a lamination one, two, three, however you wanna name that. Then from here, what we'll do is we'll locate the center point. Now, I just put this on the second cylinder, but again, you can move this around to other components as well. And then you'll let us know what the longitudinal extent and the circumferential extent of the area that we're looking at is. And then there'll be your basic input, such as your loss, as well as your future corrosion lines that we'll put in. Now I'm going to go ahead and perform a part three brittle fracture assessment. Now Inspect does have the capability to do an entire part three brittle fracture assessment for the whole vessel. But if, again, if we're just looking at a component, we want to make sure we check this option so that we can prove that there's sufficient material toughness if, for example, we wind up in a level two assessment. So from here, I'll just click next. And this is the second screen. Now from here, what we're going to do is inform inspect how many flaws do we have? I've got two flaws specified here. And if you increase them, we just add more columns on or decrease, et cetera. Now, from here, you'll see lamination one and lamination two. And when I select these, you'll notice that there's the column highlights in a light shade of blue. What that's for is to give you a visual reference, because once we fill this in, on the right hand side on the details box here, we're doing a level one assessment for you in this dialog. And more on that in a minute. So getting back here, what you're going to do is simply come in and put the information in that you have about the laminations. So obviously the longitudinal dimension, the circumferential direction, the lamination height, the edge to edge distance, all this information, and this comes right out of the 579. Now, if you're, you're, you're in a rush or you're not sure, we do have graphical images here, as you can see down here, showing you what these dimensions mean. So it's a nice quick reference for you as well. And there'll be things such as the joint efficiency, as well as where is this located, as well as in the base metal, a weld seam or heat affected zone. All right, so let's go over here. So you look at lamination one and you can see here that a level one assessment is being done for you. So this is very handy because you can actually do real time assessments just, just by putting in the information and you can see, yes, it's passing my level one assessment. I don't need to even go to a level two and we can go from there. So it's, it's really nice not having to go out, run a report, come back in. You can get the results up to date right here in this dialog. But let's click OK and let's go to the report. Now I've already gone ahead and run the report, so I'm just gonna come up here and click on the report icon. And we're gonna to come to our HTML report, and this is our cover page. I'm gonna scroll down here, and we're gonna see three reports for lamination. So I'll click on the lamination report, which is a very basic, um, here's a listing of all the laminations, and if they've passed level one and two, or if they haven't, you can specifically go to that lamination and review the calculations. So we'll go to lamination one, 
And you can see here, here's all the information about the lamination. Here are your results summary. You can see level one and two are both acceptable. But if you want to uh, check anything, all of the calculations are laid out for you. So you can follow along so you can see exactly the numbers that we're using. Or if, it, if it's not acceptable, you can see, is there anything that we can do to get it to pass? Can we drop, uh, derate it, anything like that? And this is all laid out here for you as well. So when you want to get back to the model, simply come up, click on the HTML icon, and we're back at the model. We can go back into the lamination, and we can also make any adjustments we need to as well. Now, one other thing I want to bring your attention to, as I was mentioning before, I have multiple flaws modeled on this vessel. Now, this is also a nice indicator to say, if you're looking at it, say, this part of the vessel or equipment has had problems before, you know, this might be a symptom of a bigger issue we need to look at. So having that graphical representation of being able to store your historic data is key here as well. Now, if you have any questions about the Part 13 assessment, please email sales at coder.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670.